You guys, look what I found! You'll never guess! It's Oregon Trail! One of the original Oregon Trail games. Chips, uh, who's very near and dear, he's kind of my crushy best friendy thing right now, Chips. <laughs> Um, it was t we got to talking about Oregon Trail somehow, and I was like, I have to play it, like, right now. I am just craving Oregon Trail. He's busy enjoying the brand new expansion pack that just came out for Civilization V, and I have this rule where if I want a new game, I have to do enough workouts to earn it, so I still have to catch up on that. But until I get my turn at Civ V, and maybe Chips Austin and I will do some multiplayer together or something like that, we're gonna play Oregon Trail instead! <laughs> So let's go ahead and get started by traveling the trail. For those of you guys who did not grow up in the same era that I did, this is a simulation, a nice fun little simulation game for the Oregon Trail, uh, which was when a whole bunch of people in the Midwest of the United States moved from basically the center of the United States more over towards the west where there's a lot of mountains, there was supposedly a lot of farmland, all the way over to Oregon, which it was supposed to be like this great destination for pioneers, people who needed land, who wanted to try out their own, um, be settlers. Of course, that horrifically glosses over a lot of issues with taking land and slaughtering Native Americans, but for the sake of the game, we're just going to keep rolling with it. So we're starting in Independence, Missouri, which was actually not very far away from where I grew up, uh, in the center of Missouri. And we're going to travel 2,000 miles in a wagon with our family. So we're going to register the names of our family and our occupation, then we're going to go buy supplies. And hopefully we'll all live. It doesn't always work that way. Oh, alright. So I'm in charge. Siri's in charge. We've got Chips, who's my crushy, crushy guy. Austin, who's our friend. Really funny. He's actual mute. Like, I went to high school with him. Uh, and we were really great friends for several years. Then I moved here to the East Coast and met Chips, and we started kind of hanging out and thinking that we're both kind of cool and everything like that. And Chips had this best friend named Austin. And one night I was like, hey, I had a best friend in high school named Austin. And he was like, this totally awesome Viking dude. And Chips was like, really? Because Austin's a Viking dude. And he showed me a picture and it was the same Austin I went to high school with halfway across the country <laughs> all those years ago. So it was totally awesome. We're also going to add my little sister B. That's just what she goes by. That's her nickname. And who else? Let's see. Why don't we add in... Ooh, I know. We're going to add in Pepper, my cat. <laughs> One of my cats. And I'm going to be a doctor because doctors are cool. Of course, occupations, I believe, get different bonuses. Yeah, you start with different amounts. Bankers get a huge amount of money. Doctors get a bunch of money and sick and injured people are less likely to die, but you get a lower bonus. Uh, oxen are less likely to get sick and die if you start as a farmer, but you only have 400 starting cash, but you get this giant awesome bonus, and you get this great bonus if you're a teacher. So actually, actually, we're gonna, we're gonna do this hardcore. I'm gonna be a teacher. Chips is actually studying to be a professor, so I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna be a teacher. Actually, I don't wanna be a farmer. Yeah, I'm gonna be a farmer, and we'll just get a little bit of a bonus. Chips is in charge of being a teacher. Alright, so we only have $400. We need oxen to pull our wagon. We need sets of clothes. We need bullets to hunt for food on our way there. Spare pieces for the wagon and food to feed us. So, let's start with, how much is six oxen? Is that gonna, oh, is it gonna work? Whoops, no, not 66 oxen. <laughs> let's start with six oxen. Um, how about 25 sets of clothes? No. Okay, let's let's dial it back to 10 maybe. Okay, 10 sets of clothes. Now boxes of bullets, we want tons of. How much would 50 be? Okay. Um, we need a lot of food. Can we start with at least 500? Okay, let's dial back the oxen. But the oxen always die, so let's start with five oxen. Let's start with five oxen, and let's, come on, we, we can rough it with the clothes. Let's go with uh, eight things of clothes. And now, let's see, let's do, oh, those axles are always breaking, and those wheels are always breaking, but the tongs are always breaking, too. Uh, what could we dial back on? I really don't feel like we can afford to lose anything else, though. 
the bullets lead to more food. But I'm a pretty good shot, so in this game. But that was when I was in kindergarten. I don't know if I'm still such a good shot. So let's dial back the bullets a little bit. Dial back? What on earth am I saying? <laughs> and then let's get another wheel. There we go. Bye. You decide to set off on the trail. If you leave too early, there won't be much grass for your oxen to eat. You may encounter some very cold weather and light spring snowstorms, but if you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter, which can be very dangerous. If you leave just at the right time, there will be green grass and, for the most part, mild weather. Well, I grew up in Missouri, and there's no freaking way that I'm going to leave in March. April would be ifty. May is probably the best, and we're traveling kind of light with five oxen. Let's leave in May. Okay. It's kind of hot. Started down the trail with five oxen, eight sets of clothing, 800 bullets, two wagon wheels, one wagon axle, one wagon tongue, and 500 pounds of food. And sorry about the music, it's always kind of been like this, kind of like trippy. Everyone's in good health. That's Pepper the cat. <laughs> Rations are filling right now trade so we can we can trade like what we want and try to figure that out talk better take extra sets of clothes trade them to the indians for fresh vegetables fruit fish or meat it's well worth hiring an indian guide at river crossings expect to pay them they're sharp traders not easily cheated okay pace is steady uh let's go let's get this party moving we're out of here do 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 Traveling on the trail. We took a wrong trail. Oh, dang it. So we got delayed. Still delayed. Food's going down. We've traveled 61 miles. You can watch like where, like our next landmark and how far we've traveled right here. We're about to come to our first river that we'll have to ford. And it's kind of hot. But every oh, now it's going to rain. Uh oh, we better get across this river before it rains. Kansas City River Crossing. Man, I used to drive over that all the time. Man, and it's raining. Mm. Uh, 3.5 feet deep. Take the ferry for $5. We're completely out of money. We're just going to have to attempt to ford it. It's only... Uh oh. It was only 3.5 deep. Nobody was injured and you recovered all your supplies. Okay, lesson learned. We shouldn't have done that. Alrighty. We're getting moving. There's another river, so I'll hold off on, even though our food is going down, I'll hold off on hunting. And everyone's in good health, including hopefully the oxen and the cat. Let's see. Big Blue River Crossing. Okay. 2.5 feet deep. Surely we can afford this one. Come on. Oxen aren't that small. Hopefully we won't run into a hole. Getting across. Oh yeah, we made it! Yay! Yay! Oh, it all got wet. Well, that happens. Alright, now I think it's time for some hunting. It's a bunny. Dang it, bunny, hold still. Okay, got one bunny. That squirrel's not really worth the effort. We're not really out in the prairie land yet where we're gonna run into buffalo and antelope. Oh, never mind, there's a buffalo. Sweet. Um, really, I think we can end the hunting now. Because the buffalo is like really heavy, so carrying it back is gonna be hard. Yeah, we could only carry back uh, 200 pounds back. So we like wasted almost 200 pounds of buffalo. Dang. All right, let's continue. We've got tons of food now. That's what we needed. Everybody's still doing good? Good, everyone's still doing good. Looks like it's gonna rain again. Nope, it's sunny. Hey, look, where are we going? We're gonna reach a landmark pretty soon. I wonder if we can trade. Whoa, strong winds. I wonder if we can trade some of our food for like money or clothes so we can like trade those down the line for fresh fish and vegetables because we can't just keep eating meat all the time all right let's see let's trade what do you want to get by trading um well 
how about how about four more things well we're st how about eight more things of clothes 332 pounds of food nope 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 here let me try again uh let's try four things of clothes what no she she just had some come on there's gotta be okay one ox heck no what do you guys want for one ox just gotta keep talking to the right people 246 bullets Ugh. Ugh, fine see I figure we can go faster if we have another ox that feels kind of silly though now I really feel like we need to make sure let's try it again with the clothes thing uh, you guys do too. Well, what about a little bit of cash? What if I just need like $25 to try to afford again? Really? What about $20? Fine. Time to continue. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Strenuous pace. Not for too long, but we've got a lot of ground to cover. We're still eating good too, so that should be fine. 370 pounds, 355 pounds. Jeez, these people eat so much food. 340 pounds. You know, I, I feel like almost 500 miles in a month with all this is doing pretty good. Okay, about time to hunt again, though. And I figure if we got that extra oxen, there's like, oh, there's a deer. There's no point in going slow if we have the extra oxen right now. That'd kind of be a waste of all the food we spent. Sweet antelope. Ah, lag from old gameness. Uh, that should be good, yeah? Whoa! 53 pounds of food? That's all? Well, okay. A fire in your wagon destroyed 461 bullets and 62 pounds of food. Are you kidding me? What do I have left? I've, how do I check my, my stats and stuff? Uh, okay. Aw, oh, man. 76 bullets? That's all I've got left? Jeez Louise. That wasn't such a good trade after all. Let's keep moving. At least we're close to the next fort. I might have to trade back an oxen already for getting more bullets. Hopefully this pace won't be... No, B has the measles! My sister! No, she's sick! Let's slow it down, man. Pepper broke an arm! Oh my gosh! You guys, this is not, not good. We found some wild fruit, and we made it to the fort. Be warned, stranger. Don't dig a water hole. Drink, drink only river water. Salty as the Plotty River is, it's, it's better than cholera. We buried my husband last week. Could use some help with this harness if you could spare the time. Aw, I'm sorry, ma'am. I need some bullets, guys. Um, anyone have, like, 70 bullets to spare? Where are my wagon axles? Uh, no, that just isn't a good trade. I need that wagon axle. Come on, come on, you guys have to have some bullets. 21 pounds of food? I'll do it. I can get more food with that. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Let's talk a little more, too. Though these green horns heading across the Rockies know nothing about surviving in the mountains, it gets awful cold up there, even in summer. Many a traveler across the mountains too late in the year has gotten snowbound and died. Okay, well... <sighs> Maybe we, could, we should probably trade for some food right now, too. We're just getting, like, nasty low. One ox. A hundred pounds. I think we're okay. I, I think we'll be okay. Chips is suffering from exhaustion. That's it. We're resting. We're resting for four days. My sister's sick. My cat broke an arm. And my crush bu bru the guy I like, is suffering from exhaustion. So we're gonna rest, but we're almost out of food, so we gotta hunt. Oh, an elk! The majestic elk is over here! A buffalo! Fantastic. That should be plenty of food. Yep, 
carried 200 pounds back. All right, we rested for a while, didn't we, guys? Are you feeling better? See, I only needed one bullet, and we managed to get plenty of food. That's all we needed. B is well again. Good, so my sister recovered from measles. <gasps> Pepper got sick and died. My cat's dead, and Chip just got bit by a snake. Oh, heck a doodle no. We're resting. Whole week. I can't believe my cat's dead. That's so sad. Th this is what Oregon Trail does to you. I can't. Looking back, I really can't believe they had us play this game <laughs> as children. <laughs> but I grew up on this. No, the majestic elk. Come back. I need your meat. You're just teasing me, bunny rabbit. Ignoring you. Must not be very good at stealth hunting. Come on. Here, the elky elk elk. Here, the elk. Where are you? Come on. I'm going to sit right here till you show up. I mean it. Got to move. Okay, I have, just have to like take my chance. There's one. Get him, get him, get him, get him. There, that should be good. Food? Yay, food! I hate seeing food go to waste, though. That's very upsetting. But we're able to eat. Gotta give Chips a chance to recover. I'll be so sad if he dies. I love him so much already. That would, that would just break my heart. Austin's doing great. A new bringing a Viking along would be, like, the most awesome choice ever. The cat, not so much. The cat died. Very sad. Poor Pepper. Ch Yay! Chips as well. Okay. No grass for the oxen. Then we gotta keep moving. Having six oxen actually means they need a... Oh, crap. Come on, guys. We'll find you some grass. Let's keep going. Oh, goodness. Let's pick up the pace, then. So we can get somewhere that has some grass for you. I know it may seem a little bit weird to like push them harder, but it's just what's good. I can't believe that Pepper died. That's so sad. I have no money. We found some wild fruit. Let's do a little bit of hunting before we hit the next spot. Pretty good with this. I think I have enough bullets to like get us there, but we've technically just started the journey. It's a 2,000 mile journey. Love it. Better than nothing. Oh, I got the elk and wasted a bullet because I got excited. Yay! We didn't waste that much either. That makes me happy. Got a ton of food. Independence Rock. I carved my name way up the side of Independence Rock near the top. There are hundreds of names up there. The oldest ones were carved by mountain men and fur trappers. Famous names like Fermont, Boonville, and De Smet. Yeah, where I used to live, like, it's really ironic because there's a Boone out here, like a Boone County, and I used to live in a Boone County back in Missouri. <laughs> so, Boone left his name all over the United States. For those of you who don't know, he was a early explorer who really plunged out west. Uh, kind of like the Lewis and Clark Trail sort of thing. Alright, let's see, can we trade? I want a little bit of money. I feel like I need to have at least a little bit of money on me. Not even $20? For about ten dollars. Seventy nine bullets. No, I, I can't do that. I'm almost out of bullets. In fact I should be trading for bullets. What am I thinking? Let's try twenty five bullets. Wagon axle. No way, dude. I mean I know things are getting precious around here, but we're moving on then. No, no, no. She was bitten by a snake. No water. Ah. Let's keep moving. We can't stay here if there's no water. We good? No water again. Come on, clouds. Let down some rain. Please? Is there rain now? Oh no, Austin's sick too. Typhoid fever. We're resting for a whole nother week again. I don't care. 
Those are a lot of days to rest, but uh, my baby sister and my friend are sick. Maybe I should have been a doctor. Okay, my baby sister's good again. There's a lot of snakes out here. Come on, Austin. You can do it, dude. You can recover. I'm doing okay on meat and food still, so... We're almost, like... Oh, good! He's well again! Sweet! Keeping everybody on a really filling diet, I think, is really helping. No, 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 no! Bad water and bitten by a snake? No water again! We can't stay here. We can't rest here if there's no water. <gasps> no! My boyfriend died! I should have rested, but there was no water. <laughs> oh, this is so sad. I want to give up, but I can't. I have to go on for my sister and our friend Austin. There's no grass for the oxen here either. Things are getting tight. We better do some hunting while the hunting might be good. Oh no. I'm so sad. So sad. <laughs> I'm forcing myself to go on. I'll become a teacher in his stead. Bad water. Gotta keep moving. I'll, I'll become a teacher in his stead. Yep. No water again. Oh man, and our health is poor. B was bitten by another snake. I really have to teach my sister how to deal with snakes. Honestly. Gotta rest for a little bit. I can't believe that. No, I wonder what kind of snake it was that killed my boyfriend person thing. So I... Well, I'll, I'll carry on his his dream of teaching people. Austin has a fever now, and B is that sick. Oh man, okay, we're gonna rest for four more days, guys. We can do this, it'll be okay. I might go hunting pretty soon. We can do this, let's keep going. Our health is getting to the fair point. That's good. B is well again. Just gotta let Austin rest up a little bit. I'm gonna do some hunting. Y'all eat a lot. Not as much now that we've lost both Pepper and Chip. There's a gazelle. They don't have a lot of meat on them though. I gotta stop wasting bullets. I don't have a lot of bullets. Okay. Oh, elk. That's what we needed. Don't know how much longer we'll be able to rely on elk to be in the area, though. Brought back 200 pounds of food, though. I must be a pretty good, like, marksman. What do you mean, no water? Come on. Come on! There's water! Now, how should we get across this? 20 feet deep? Oh man, there's gotta be someone we can trade for, like, around here for five dollars. Oh, come on. I know you guys have five dollars to spare. Uh-uh. Don't do this to me. What about ten dollars? Okay, what about six dollars? What about two dollars? Ten bullets? Yes. Now what about three dollars? Come on. A wagon wheel. Fine, if it means getting us across safely. We're taking the ferry. We traded a whole wagon wheel, but we're halfway there. And we've not broken a wagon wheel. We've lost my boyfriend person thing. Uh, lost my cat. No grass for the oxen. Gotta keep moving then. How can there be no grass? We're so close to that river. Austin's well again. Good. So he's better at least. No water. Gonna keep moving. 100 miles to the next landmark. We're doing pretty good. I could pick up the pace, but I just don't want to stress everybody out yet, especially since there's no water. Still no water. That sucks. And we're doing okay on food. It's only 54... And now there's no grass for the oxen. Well, and it's only 30 more miles to the next landmark, so we can get there pretty soon. 
We better pick up the pace if we're going to get through the mountains before it gets too cold, though. I mean, it's already all, like halfway through August. My soda springs are so pretty. Yeah, soda the soda springs are so pretty. Seem to sprout at regular intervals. Felt good just to rest and not be jostled in a wagon all day. When I get to Oregon, I'll have a soft feather bed and never sleep in a wagon again. I hear you there, ma'am. My job every day is to find wood for the cook fire. Sometimes it's hard to find enough, so I store extra pieces in the box and under the wagon. On the prairie, I gather the buffalo chips to burn when there wasn't any wood. Yep, buffalo chips are dried buffalo poop. And it was what was used to make fires. So do we need to trade for anything? I feel like we need more bullets. 20 more bullets? Nobody's got 20 bullets to spare, huh? What about 10 bullets? What do you want for 10 bullets? Not, not even 10. Fine. Let's pick up the pace, since our health is doing okay. Come on, guys. Let's keep moving. There's bad water here. Could have cholera in it. I just... Oh, wow, our wagon axle broke, but we were able to replace it with our supplies. Reached a fort. Well, friend, this is where we part. I'm bound for California with an imposing desert to cross. And you, you've got the Snake River to cross, which I hear is no picnic. Write us, you or the missus, just as soon as you reach Oregon. The missus is not the missus. That's my sister. I am a missus. A widow. This sucks. Okay. Let's go at a steady pace. Our health is poor. Let's see if there's anything to find through hunting here. We're not so desperate I'm going to waste bullets on bunnies unless, like, that's all there is here. Oh, I missed it. Might have to move in a second. Oh, I missed it! I moved just as he showed up. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, a bear! Dude! We'll take the bear. 103 pounds of food. Okay. That's alright. Our, let's just rest for a couple days. Our health is getting pretty poor. And then we're going to change it to a strenuous pace after that. We're resting, resting. Alright, now we're going. we got to really pick up the pace. Oh, Austin has a fever again. Let's slow things down. And then I guess we'll rest again. Can't afford to lose any more people from our party. It's too depressing. We've got enough oxen that they can carry a ton of weight, so we're going to stock up on food. I hate wasting that much food, too. 200 pounds of food. Health is fair, but Austin still has that fever, doesn't he? It's getting into September. I think we're going too slow. Really pushing things. No water around here. Oh good, Austin's feeling better though. Then let's let's move it, guys. We can't be dawdling this much. Whoa, an ox is sick and Austin got bitten by a snake. There's no grass for the oxen. Rough trail. We got lost. <laughs> this sucks. Let's rest. Let's rest for three days. Try to give the oxen and Austin, those snakes, I swear, a, a chance to recover. Let's see if there's any more bears around here. We're probably going to need the furs for the winter. I'm sure my sister and I can come up with something nice. Arr, gotta stop wasting bullets. Ooh, elk, elk, elk. That's what we needed. Wasted a ton of bullets, so I gotta be more careful. There, we got lots of food. Now we're resting. I just have a feeling like the last little bit's gonna be pretty hard, so trying to make sure we stock up while I know the hunting's still good. Though, gotta be careful. 600 pounds of food in a river coming up. Doesn't bode well. We'll stop. Oh, good. Austin's well again. The ox is still sick, though. No water. Well, we'll rest when we get to the river. 
Down there between those steep lava gorges, twisting and writhering, is the Snake River. So much water, and so hard to get to. We've got many miles of desert before Oregon, so be sure to fill your water kegs at the crossing. Good to know. See that wild river? That's the Snake. Many a craft's been stamped, swamped in her flowing rapids. Her waters travel all the way to Oregon. Well, we'll be crossing her soon, and then after Fort Bosey. Take care of the crossing. Ooh. So, how can we cross her? Ooh, I can hire someone for three sets of clothes. A thousand feet wide, six feet deep. Yeah, we'll probably hire someone. But first, let's rest. Let's rest here for two days. Do we need to rest? I'm trying to remember. Is anyone sick? I can't believe. No, I think we're, we're good to go, actually. Three sets of clothes for a guide, and we're going to try crossing the river. This is probably the safest way to do it. These people who live here are going to know <laughs> the river far better than... No, my sister broke her arm. Okay, we're going to rest two days. Just two days. I'm resting way too much. I'm like, I don't want to lose anybody. What's the point of getting to Oregon if you're all dead? Chips is dead. And we were going to do fun things together. Have a life together. And he's dead now, and that sucks. No grass for the oxen. Let's keep moving then. Nice light pace. I'm going to do some hunting. I just feel like the hunting is going to just wither up and disappear any minute now. So I need to make sure I have all we possibly can get before we really head out into the desert. I feel like we're already there, too. I mean, look at this. We saw one squirrel. One squirrel. There's two squirrels. Here's a couple trees and a couple rocks. <gasps> I think I saw something. It peeked at us and then it ran away. There's a squirrel, or that's a bunny. Oh, bears. There, that's what we needed. Actually, I should have shot both of them. I think they're only like, yeah, only 100 pounds. But that's okay. Austin has the measles, and we're on a rough trail. Fine, guys. Four more days of resting. Try to give my sister a chance to recover. Poor Austin has the measles. We're going to get frozen out, though. We're going to really have to pick up the pace. There's 600 more miles to go before winter sets in. Okay. 1848. I can't believe that was so long ago. A thief stole 21 bullets from our wagon. Are you kidding me? And heavy fog. That's just not cool. Austin's well again. Good. My sister should be well again any day now. We're taking it nice and easy. Heavy fog and no water. That's just that's just awful. We're almost to the fort, at least. Austin has cholera. Oh, man. He's just not, not getting a break at all. Let's make it to the fort, and then maybe we'll rest here for a little bit. One more mile. Hang in there, guys. Oof. You'll not get your wagon over them blue mountains, mister. Leave it. Cross your your goods over with pack animals. Get yourself a couple of mules. Pieces of wagons litter the trail, left by folks who don't heed good advice. At every fort along the trail, prices have been higher than the previous fort. This is outrageous. They're taking advantage of us. If I had the chance to do it again, I'd buy more supplies and independence. Well, that's good to know. Um, what do we have? Well, we've got 70 bullets left. Hopefully that's going to be enough. Oh yeah, we're going to rest. Let's rest for four days. Let's rest for three days, actually. We're never going to make it before winter at this pace, guys, but I don't want you guys to die. I'm so worried. Chips died. Why'd Chips have to die? I'm so sad. And my cat died. Hmm. Austin died? It's just me and my sister now. And apparently she's got a broken arm and my health is poor. Okay. Okay, B. You and I are tough cookies. We're just going to sit here and we're going to rest. All the men have died. Our cat has died. This is totally bringing back memories of playing this game as a child. <laughs> Where everyone dies. <laughs> Oh, elk. We're going to 
have we have all this food and we don't even need all this food because everyone's dead except us look at that 660 pounds of food that's 335 pounds of food each you know you and I aren't gonna finish that bee at least bee is well again all right let, let, let's do this let's just get out of here I can't believe Austin's dead chips is dead peppers dead everyone's dead B why did we decide to do this crazy adventure it's still 400 miles away don't die on me B don't you dare die on me no <laughs> our control is such a sad game <laughs> Oh jeez, the trail is impassable. Okay, we're coming up to a mountain or something. And we're delayed because we can't go anywhere. Come on. Come on. Come on, it's almost like we cannot afford this pace. Oh my gosh, how delayed is this going to be? I'm hunting. Gonna make sure we have plenty of food. Everyone's dead, so sad. There, now we're moving again. Alrighty, what's this? What is this little mountain, hmm? You have reached the Grand Grande Ronde in the Blue Mountains. Okay. This valley of the Grande Ronde is the most beautiful sight I've seen in months. Water and graze in abundance. If this valley was so fine, the Willamette, the Willamette must be twice as fine. We'll be sitting pretty in our new homestead. Since crossing the snake at Fort Bosey, it's just been mountains and desert. Dust deeper each day, six inches at a time. No tracks, just clouds of dust. Many cattle choke on the dust after swimming in the river, then bled and died. Well, that's depressing. Um, we're going to take the shortcut. We don't need any supplies, little sister. We've got the clothes on our back, a whole half a dozen oxen. <sighs> Not that many bullets, but plenty of food. Apparently I'm a decent shot. I think we'll make it just fine. Hopefully we'll have something to trade or hire so that we'll be able to get across the river. Only 200 more miles. Hopefully we'll make it before the snow comes down. We reach the Dales. My cousin Linda engaged passage down the Columbia with Indians. A, cana a canoe with 17 people on luggage. The wind blew so heavy they had to lay, lay by. Near dark, high waves came up over their heads. Finally, they made it to shore to safety. I collect tolls for the Barlow Road, a bargain at twice the price. Until last year, the overlander had no choice. Everyone floated the Columbia. Now, with Mr. Barlow's new road, you can drive your wagon right into Oregon City. Really? Uh, how much is it? Well, how much is it? Raft down the river? I wasn't serious! Oh dear! The final leg of your journey is a trip down the Columbia River. Beginning at the Dales and ending at the Williamette Valley, where the Williamette River flows into the Columbia. You've built a raft and load your wagon, supplies, and oxen aboard. Use your mouse to steer the raft down the river. You can steer to the left and right by moving the mouse in those directions. No effect up and down. The Columbia River is very rough in spots, with lots of rocks. If there's been a rain recently, the river level is higher, and rocks won't be as much a problem. But if there hasn't been much rain, which is common since eastern Oregon is a dry region, you'll see more rocks in the river. Try to avoid those rocks. If your raft, if your raft hits a rock, it may be damaged, and you may lose some supplies. Your raft may even tip over or be destroyed, and lives may be lost. Oh dear. I don't know if we can do this, B. Let's give it our best, though. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. I hope. There's a couple rocks coming up. So let's, let's scooch and wiggle this way. Okay. We're getting there. I think we're almost a third of the way there. Oh, watch out for those rocks. Oh, man. More rocks. Okay. Nice and steady. Ah! Ah! Big rock! Big rock! Big rock coming right up. Oh my gosh. Okay, halfway there. I think we'll be okay, little sister. Let's just stay over here. Seems to have been a good choice. Kind of watching things. There's still some more rocks, but we're okay. Still doing okay. 
Almost there. Okay, coming up on the landing. And we made it, little sister. We're live. Congratulations, we reached the valley. Okay. You arrived on November 10th, 1848 and received the following number of points. Two people arriving in good health. One wagon, six oxen, spare parts, clothing, bullets, pounds of food, dollars. <laughs> Your score! Farmer bonus! Congratulations! You made it onto the Oregon Trail list of legends! Yay! Where are we on the list of legends? Let's see. Uh, not bad, not bad. So, somehow we ended up with 17,175 points. My, my, you died. My friend died and my cat died, but my sister and I made it there alive. Well, that was fun. That was a trip down memory lane, guys. It is exactly how I remember. Uh, trying to shoot things so that we have enough food to survive. Um, the rivers being really unpredictable. The snakes and cholera and measles popping out of nowhere. And everyone dying. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining me. This is a fun little trip down memory lane. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye.